Are you married to a narcissist? Navigating marriage with a narcissistic spouse ranges from challenging to there is no way I can live like this. So what is narcissism? Well, it's a personality trait characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance, a lack of empathy, a need for excessive admiration, and a tendency to exploit others for personal gain. It's control on steroids. So how do you deal with a narcissistic spouse? Well, first, recognize the behavior. It's important to recognize the signs of narcissism in your spouse. Does your spouse have a strong need for attention, a lack of empathy, manipulation, a sense of entitlement, and an inability to take responsibility for their actions? Those are signs to take notice of. Second, set boundaries. You have to set clear, healthy boundaries in your marriage. It's essential for you to communicate your limits and assertively enforce them because narcissists have difficulty following and respecting boundaries. Third, seek professional help. Find a good Christian counselor. It's, so, it's an important step for you to take in dealing with a narcissistic spouse because it can be emotionally draining. Your counselor can guide you through the process. Next, take care of yourself. Your narcissistic spouse does not want you to take care of yourself. Remember, it's all about them. You have to take the steps to take care of yourself. Engage in activities that bring you joy. Maintain a support network of friends and family and learn to manage your stress. Manage expectations. If your spouse really decides to work on changing, realize that it may be a slow process. Keep your expectations realistic. And as long as they're continuing to move towards healing, there is hope. Communicate clearly. When you com you're communicating with your narcissistic spouse, use clear and direct language. Avoid blaming or accusing language because that'll trigger defensive reactions. Stick to the facts and express your feelings in a non-confrontational manner. Protect yourself and your kids. If the relationship becomes emotionally, physically, or psychologically abusive, it's time to separate. It's time to, for you and your kids to be separate because you need to be safe. Don't make excuses for them. Get safe. Every situation has its uniqueness because of the people involved. But regardless, you need God and the people He brings into your life. You cannot navigate this alone. If this is hitting home for you, today is the day to start dealing with it. It will never just get better on its own. And you're too valuable to continue living this way.